In August, we brought you a story about a housing project aimed at helping female veterans get back on their feet. Back then, two houses in Northeast were in dire need of repair. Today, Whitney Wilde shows us how far the project has come with the help from Home Depot. All right. Yeah. Of all of the houses in D.C., this has to be one of Cecil Byrd's favorites. Uh, uh, facility, and it's going to be for, for female veterans and their children. Byrd has been working to turn two houses in Northeast into transitional housing for 19 homeless female veterans, a labor of love from one veteran to another. We ran out of money here, so I had to take a, my wife said I either had to get a job or I'd have to quit. Yeah, I want to show you the place real quick. In addition to a paying job, Bird runs the National Association of Concerned Veterans, a nonprofit helping those struggling after service. Over the last year or so, Bird says this project has been difficult. We, we were shut down by the city. You know, we had permit issues, we had, we had finance issues, we had, uh, I mean, every kind of problem you can think of. That is until multiple nonprofits and Home Depot stepped in. Why we work for the company. Why I we know. love the company. <laughs> A $35,000 donation from Home Depot and tens of thousands of dollars from other nonprofits are helping put the finishing touches on these two houses. Just 10 weeks ago, they were run down, badly in need of repair. Now there's fresh paint, a garden, and an updated kitchen. Volunteers from Home Depot donate their time, but veterans like Vance Burgess do most of the work. I love it. I love this kind of work. We could do these, these rooms in, in less than 10 days. Weeks ago, it was hard to see the potential. It's really, uh, it's really come a long way. Thanks to these donations, Bird's excitement is building. You know, I'm getting ready to jump for joy. I don't know what it is. Maybe the stars are aligning right or whatever, but this is, this is great. When you consider how big this project is, the turnaround is actually pretty fast. Between this house behind me and the house next door, Bird says they hope to have everyone moved in by Veterans Day. In Northeast, Whitney Wild, News Channel 8.